Now, earlier this week, Megan Rapino openly admitted her used an expletive in an interview six months ago. I'm not going to the expletive White House, Rapino said when asked if she was excited to go there if the U.S. won the Women's World Cup. When those comments surfaced this week, disdain and outrage for Rapino were fueled by President Trump's reaction. Quote, Megan should never disrespect our country, the White House, or our flag, especially since so much has been done for her and the team, the president said as part of a series of tweets. Rapino then responded with this. I stand by the comments that I made about not wanting to go to the White House, um, with the exception of the expletive. My mom will be very upset about that. Um, but I think obviously entering um, with a lot of passion, considering how much you know, time and effort and pride we take in the platform um, that we have and using it for good and for leaving the game in a better place and hopefully the world in a better place. Um, I don't think that I would want to go, and um, I would encourage my teammates to think hard about lending that platform or having that co-opted um, by an administration that doesn't feel the same way and doesn't fight for the same things that, that we fight for. Now, aside from one foul word, I'm not sure where Rapino has shown intentional disrespect toward our flag or our country during this World Cup. Now, while she has opened herself up to criticism by kneeling during the anthem in the past, she has adhered to U.S. soccer's policy standing for our national anthem throughout this event. And correct me if I'm wrong, but any other silent protests or expressing opposition to current policy does not automatically make her unpatriotic or disrespectful to her country or the flag. Remember, Rapino has not been actively seeking attention. She's simply been answering questions from the media with truthful answers and creating even more headlines with her incredible play, including two goals against France. Now, a few years back, Stanley Cup winning goalie Tim Thomas and Super Bowl winning center Matt Burke declined White House invitations when their teams were honored by President Obama. Around the same time, three members of the 1972 Dolphins declined a visit, citing political differences with President Obama. Were those absences disrespectful to our country or to our flag? Or were they all simply demonstrating their rights as free American citizens by declining that invitation? Frankly, the issue of politics in sports has always been there and will never go away. And unless it's explicitly forbidden by governing bodies, it is within an athlete's rights to use their spotlight and platform to promote their causes and their beliefs, which is why I have no problem rooting for Rapino and Team USA in the Women's World Cup, because their priority in France is playing for this country, playing for our flag as representatives of the freedoms we hold so dear. A kerfuffle over social media between athlete and president, whoever it may be, does not change that. And nothing Megan Rapino has done or said during this event makes me any less excited to cheer or root for this American team. This American contingent united by the common goal of representing their entire country on the world stage. Again, there's a big difference between disrespecting one's country and hurting another person's ego. I'm not here to debate the latter, but I strongly believe Megan Rapino has not done the former. So what do you think? Frankly, we could get rid of White House visits completely, and then we wouldn't have this issue popping up over politics all the time. That would be nice. You can always find me on Twitter at AaronQ13Fox or email us at Aaron at Q13Fox.com.